Welcome to the Advanced Trade Management Stop Strategies Overview. We will be covering the following topics. Auto break-even stop loss, auto trailing stop loss, and simulated stop loss orders. A stop strategy is an extension of an ATM strategy which can be used to automate changes to stop loss orders. The auto trail and auto break even features can be used to automatically change the price of stop loss orders as a trade progresses. Simulated stop orders can be used to withhold stop loss orders from the market until a price and volume condition are met. To create a new stop strategy, open the ATM strategy parameters menu by selecting custom from the ATM strategy control list or by selecting an existing template in the control list and clicking the Edit button. Within the ATM Strategy Parameters window, select Custom from the Stop Strategy drop-down menu to access the Custom Stop Strategy Parameters window, in which Auto Breakeven, Auto Trail, and Simulated Stop Orders can be configured. Auto Breakeven is a stop strategy which will update the price of a stop loss order once when a user-defined profit trigger is reached. Two settings must be configured when using an auto breakeven. The profit trigger setting defines the number of ticks in profit which must be reached before the stop loss order is moved to a breakeven price. The plus setting allows you to define a positive or negative offset to be applied to the breakeven price when the order is moved. For example, entering a value of 2 in the plus field will move the stop loss to breakeven plus 2 ticks. The Auto Trail feature can update the price of a stop loss order multiple times in the course of a trade based on specified criteria, allowing you to be more liberal with your stop loss at an early stage of a trade and tighten the stop loss as the trade gains additional profit. When configuring an Auto Trail strategy, three fields must be set. The Stop Loss field sets the number of ticks or pips behind the current market price to move the order the first time that it is moved. The Profit Trigger field sets the amount of profit that must be reached in a trade before the first change to the stop loss order will be made. The Frequency field defines how often the order should be readjusted after the profit target has initially been hit. Auto Trail strategies can use up to three steps, allowing for different levels of adjustment throughout the course of a trade. A stop loss can be set to trail by a certain amount when a specified profit trigger is hit then trail by a different amount when a second or third profit trigger are hit in a subsequent step. In addition to being configured beforehand, auto breakeven or auto trail settings can also be added to a running ATM strategy. While in a position, right click the stop loss order marker and select sell at price to access and apply auto breakeven and auto trail settings. Note that for both auto breakeven and auto trail, only the ticks and pips parameter types can be used. If the ATM strategy's parameter type is set to price, percent, or currency, the ticks parameter type will be used instead. A simulated stop order is a conditional and locally held order which allows you to execute a market or limit order when the last traded price reaches the order price and volume at that price reaches a user-defined volume trigger. Simulated stop orders can be configured by checking the Enabled checkbox and specifying a volume trigger. The volume trigger represents a minimum number of shares or contracts traded that will trigger the submission of the order when reached. When a buy order acts as a stop loss, ask price volume will be used, and when using a sell order, bid volume will be used. Thank you for viewing the Advanced Trade Management Stop Strategies Overview.